Hey guys, and welcome back to the Sonic Heroes Let's Play. So last time we finished off with Team Sonic, so what's next? Is that the end of the game? Yeah, it is. It's 60 bucks. Get the hell out of here. That's it. No, next, now we're doing Team Dark. Which is dark. And Shadow's in it, because he's dark and black. But anyway, so, uh, Sonic Hero, the Sonic Heroes team, they're just like, Whoa, we gotta stop Eggman. So what's Team Dark's, uh... Uh, the uh, reason for finding Eggman. Well, Sh we just realized that Shadow's in a pod. Why is he still alive? He probably should have blown up when he hit either, number one, enter the atmosphere, or two, hit the ground. So there's two things that he should have died from, but he didn't. So we gotta find out why, and this guy does not like Eggman. And Rouge is probably trying to find her old costume, because god damn that outfit. <laughs> I didn't realize it until, you know the thumbnail that's on the video right now? I didn't realize it until I was drawing that, that I realized that Rouge's suit is a complete horse suit. It's just, it's like, every time I was, uh, make sure I was getting the details right, it's just like, what the fuck? How, who designed this? So anyway, uh, uh, hooker outfits aside, uh, we realize that, uh, this robot does not like Eggman, he wants Eggman to be destroyed, and Shadow has amnesia. Yep, Shadow has amnesia. Get ready to sit back for this shit, cause this gets fun. Amnesia is the worst thing you can do, I mean, you can do it right, in very small, I feel like soap opera has ruined every sort of plot. Because I feel like soap opera, it's, it's like, I don't understand how someone can watch soap opera with any sort of, you know, interest is because those, the reason that all those, uh, all those, uh, you know, stereotypical, uh, uh, soap opera parodies are like, it was my evil twin. And that's because shit like that happened. They would have, uh, they would have someone die or someone kill someone else and then like, no, that was someone else. So there's no real connection. Uh, with the character, because no matter what's gonna happen, it feels like the, uh, whoever's, uh, directing the same thing can turn whatever just happened on a dime. It's, it's kinda like the effect of, you know, have you ever seen how really old manga, like, really old popular manga has been like, oh, it should have ended a while ago. That's kinda the same thing. They, they're starting to, they start to revise what they said before so they can keep a longer running time. Or bring a character back that no one liked. And that's kind of the thing with Shadow. Everyone likes Shadow, so, uh, and the, and then Sonic Team had no plans of bringing him back, but since everyone likes Shadow, they're like, fuck it, let's bring him back. But sure, uh, Shadow into the atmosphere and then he hit the ground. How can we make it, he didn't die like that? Uh, you're gonna have to give me a couple games to, <laughs> to figure that out. <laughs> that's what happened. That's why Shadow has, uh, his own game is because by the time Sonic Heroes, uh, by the time Sonic Heroes was released, he couldn't figure out how Shadow survived the fall. But anyway, so, uh, for those of you wondering, hey, this is Seaside Hill. Why, why, why is it Seaside Hill? You're playing Team Tharg, you should play in a different stage. Here's how Sonic Heroes works. There is, you know, the usual stages that I just played through Team Sonic. That's basically how it's going to work for the rest of the campaigns. There's no different stages. They are differently layouted. As I said before, they're different there are different difficulties, uh, you know, Team Dark being the hardest. So that's basically how it is. The level um, changes its design based on uh, what team you're playing as, but the stage itself is no different. And that is a little, you know, yeah, I don't like it. Man, I missed that. I should have gotten that. Those rainbow rings lied to me, man. I don't like it when they lie. Anyway, my life is a lie. My wife is a lie. My knife? No, fuck it. I had it. I lost it. Anyway, so, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Forget it. That's usually what happens. Oh, man, it's been a while since I recorded Sonic Heroes. Uh, it's kind of funny that I did that whole last session in, like, an hour and 15 minutes. It was pretty funny, uh, how I did it because I didn't expect, uh, finishing Team Sonic when I was, do uh, when I first started that session. Uh, so I'm pretty far ahead uh, uh, at the time of this recording, and I'm very happy that I was able to get to this recording because I've had a hard time finding time. So now I'm doing uh, Team Dark. I'm, I'm having fun. Though at the time of this recording, I've not yet finished the thumb thumbnail, so I'm starting to get nervous. 
<laughs> uh, it's all because of Omega. Omega is really hard to draw. I just I, I was looking at him and it was just like, all right, parts just don't they don't work. Why are they, why is it there? What, what's with this giant crotch centerpiece? <laughs> it's for banging your mup. No, not gonna do that. That's inappropriate. That's inappropriate language for such a family-oriented, family-oriented life play. I went into like three different accents. It doesn't matter. So we're playing through Seaside Hill again, and uh, doesn't get any better since last time. So yeah. Again, this. <laughs> it's funny because you're always gonna play as Team Sonic the first time. It's because it's Sonic. It's Sonic, Tails, Knuckles. Who the hell's Chaotix? Who we gonna play as that? Who's gonna play fucking Amy Rose? Who cares? But, uh, when it comes down to it, you know, Sonic being the normal mode, uh, Team Dark being the hard mode, and, you know, Team Rose being the easy mode, and Team Chaotix being, I don't even fucking know. Was Chaotix necessary? When you think about it, Chaotix didn't really, doesn't really do much when you think of the story. I won't say what the story is, but for those of you that already know the story, uh, and how it plays out, there's not a whole lot that's important. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the same could be said with other stuff like, you know, uh, Shadow finding out his past. Um, but, eh, it doesn't really... Chaotix is just like, hey, I need a paycheck. I need money. That's basically it. Chaotix is running around doing stuff for a voice in a radio, and they're getting money for it. That's it. And then they're like, ah, da, bo, bo, ba, da, da. It's not what they say, but what they say is a spoiler for those you that have not played Sonic Heroes. But then again, uh, this game isn't really hard to figure out the ending. I mean, you just see Metal Sonic, uh, you know, after Tails says, He's no Eggman robot! And confusing so many ten-year-olds. Um, shit, I really was ten at the time. I was, that was just a guess. Man, I'm really good at internal math. I'm great as an internal calculator. I'm not. Anyway, so again, like confusing ten year olds. Hey, I Eggman robot, whatever the fuck that means. Um, whoa! Alternate path. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. So here's the funny thing since uh, Team Dark is the uh, pretty much the hard story uh, for Sonic Heroes, what I did uh, before this, I actually did a few practice runs uh, as Team Dark, and uh, it turns out I'm a lot better at this game than I thought. So everything's gonna be fine. A rank, totally. Are you? I just the A rank, A A for anarchy. That's what Gru should be wearing on her little nipple. <laughs> you know the A thing from that one Emma Stone movie. That was actually a remake of a story, but you know, it that just happens. Anyway, my Wii is trying to blow itself up. <laughs> I just hear. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, this is actually going to be my second, no, third recording in the uh, game, uh, in the new game room, and uh, everything's more set up, and uh, it is pretty freaking cool in here. It's awesome. I wish you guys could see it. That was actually the thing in my update video. I was planning to actually turn uh, turn the camera around and you know, uh, I'll let you guys have a look of it. Um, maybe I'll provide an image in this video. Maybe I will. Um, I'll give someone a comment on. <laughs> Anyway, um, it is pretty cool looking. But anyway, back to Sonic Heroes. So we finished Seaside Hill. Now we're in Ocean Palace. And again, there isn't really going to be a whole lot of differentiations. Different. Dif different? Differences? I was going for differences, but I was going for a super complex word. I just missed that checkpoint. Hang on. Let's go back. I don't trust myself, so. Alright. There we go. Oh, Omega's saying something. I have no idea. Rouge, please put on different clothes. It's just, it's not even like Shadow's just like, God damn it! But the last time I thought with the black leggings and everything, I mean that was that was a little provocative. But now, you're, you're just asking for anything. <laughs> it's really how it is. I don't know why they changed the design. I mean, if they changed the design because the original was too provocative, the new one is even more provocative. You can see her boobs. I mean. The original costume, you could be like, "Oh, I can see your boobs a little bit," but uh, yeah, I can see a little crease. But now that's like a middle boob kind of looking thing. It's like the, it's like the guy from, it's like the one, the one married woman from uh, uh, Step Brothers. You know that little costume, that little dress. I, I don't understand dresses like that. 
Because, you know, it's just like, yeah, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna close this upper area, but then I'm going to give you a little bit of tease anyway, so, you know. It just seems like extra work to fabric. I'm more a fan of the open bag. That's, that is preferences of something I would not like to talk about. Um, demos? Oh. Oh no, the video capture software that I use for the update video, the demos run out. Whatever will I do? Kind of dumb. So they, uh, so they, uh, had the triangle jump in, uh, uh Shadow of the Hedgehog 2, and, uh, it, it was stupid, so. Two, uh, no, alright, okay, that was 100% my fault. <laughs> it's just like, alright, so, see, I don't trust myself, that's why I got that checkpoint. Ow, don't do that. That happened a lot, too. The first time, uh, at, in the practice runs of the, uh, uh, team dark stages I would just I would just uh you know be like um <clears throat> I would I would just be like oh man I got through the first stage pretty good I got an A rank I'm totally gonna get through it then I die in the second stage and then I give up so <laughs> I go to the next stage it's probably not a good sign but you know fuck it I do what I want why don't we try up there well I don't want to try up there these egg pounds egg pounds I my mouth does not want me to speak correctly. I've just discovered that. It's just, it doesn't want me to speak. Like, I try to form it, and then it's just like, nah. I'm gonna let you say something completely stupid. Anyway, these egg pawns are not doing their job properly. They're just sitting there sleeping. It's not good. And then Eggman still used them for, like, a lot of games. Used it for Shadow the Hedgehog. Let's hit the checkpoint that time. Uh, they use it for Shadow the Hedgehog. They use it for, uh... Uh, it's Sonic Colors. It's the most reoccurring enemy. Technically. In the modern games, I mean. Because in the classic games, Eggman really wouldn't use all these different... All, all the same. Because it's hard to make stuff. Annihilate, charge, fire! Man, I'm too good. Yeah, yeah! Alright, we're good. Anyway. I keep forgetting the R and L buttons. That still pissed me off in 06. You know, the L and R buttons being the controls for the camera. God, that pissed me off. It also attributed to a lot of confusion where the camera kept moving and I didn't know why. That made me mad. And then I figured it out. It's just like, Rouge, you're just flying all around. Up and down and all around. We're on the back, back to turtles. This is nice. Looking at the turtles and everything. They're pretty... They're pretty. That almost killed me. Thank you, turtle, for almost killing me. What are these turtles doing? Oh, shit. I didn't actually want to do that. I'm going to see if I... Because I might cheat a little bit when it comes to the chaos emeralds. No! 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 You fucking ass. You fucking... I'm... Alright. Uh, damn it. I can't get that demo message out of the way. Trying to look at the footage, trying to make everything right. Stop ruining my shit debut video capture software. Demo. Message. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that knockback. Yeah, that knockback. Um, I hate knockback in every single game. Because they always... Because... Th this is the reason. is because the developers know that the knockback is in there. And they know it's going to cause problems. So, so they design around it. They don't get rid of it. They design around it. That's what pissed me off about Castlevania. It's like, oh, the knockback is gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh, shouldn't we like remove it or something so the ca so the players can have an easier time? Nah, let's build around it. Let's make it harder. <laughs> I haven't played Castlevania in a while. I may, since I'm coming close on 200, I may uh, do the other half of Castlevania and cheat a little bit because of, I'm not getting through that Grim Reaper. Or if I do get through it, I'm gonna immediately die. Because I need I need the holy water to do the Groom Reaper, because I can't predict. St uh, uh, what, I'm not allowed to go over there? Aw, invisible wall. Makes me sad. I thought there was like a secret up there, but no. It's just like, no, invisible wall. Okay. 